good morning dear students today first of all we are going to learn how to do auto sum in ms excel what is auto sum and how can we do it what is auto sum auto sum means it automatically adds the value suppose 10 values are there we want to add it automatically so how can we add it the one method is that we have to do the formula na? But that is, we have to type the formula. That is not automatical one. So, if you want to add it automatically, then you can use auto sum facility. Suppose, see, here, these four cells values are there. Then, you want to add all these four values automatically. So, for that, MS Excel gives a uh, feature, auto sum button is there. It looks like this way. You can see it on the screen. So, when you will click this MS Excel auto sum button, then it will automatically add all these values. So, first of all, which values you want to add, you have to select the values, then click the auto sum button. And where is this auto sum button uh, locating? It's uh, If it is, if you are going by home tab, in the editing group, you will get this auto sum button. Otherwise, in the formula tab, function library group also this auto sum button is there from there also you can use this auto sum button so let us do it practically see students in uh, your uh, ms excel screen you can see some numbers here 1 2 3 4 okay. some numbers are there up to 6 h1 cell aka h6 that numbers we want to calculate the sum of these numbers by using auto sum button Okay, so first of all, you have to select all these numbers. First, we'll give them, we'll give these numbers in different color. Okay, suppose we are given red color. Okay, now we are going to calculate the sum of all these numbers. So we will select these number, number select here. Ab kya karna hai? Auto sum button ko click karna. Where is this auto sum button? It is located. See, uh, in that home button. If we are using that home button. In that home button, editing group is there. In that editing group, auto sum button. You can see this is auto sum button. Just to click on this auto sum button. Now you got automatically the sum of all these numbers in see black color. That's why you uh, to uh, differentiate the sum and the numbers. That's why I had given this red color. Red color then it's not necessary to give red color to uh, make it clear, more clear. You can uh, make uh, understand more clearly. That's why I had changed the color. Now I think it is clear. So yes, are numbers. Uska automatically uska sum you can see just at the down of that number. Now same thing we will do with the auto sum button, but not from the home tab. Home tab se nika you or be a auto sum button hai. Wo kahan pe hai? In the formula tab mein hai. Wahan se kaise select karenge? Let us see. So these are the numbers. Is numbers ka auto sum dekna hai? So select this number. Next auto sum auto sum button kahan pe hai? In the formula bar formula bar mein function library aapke book mein hi method diya that's why i'm explaining this method also so formula bar mein function library group mein hai auto sum button so just click the auto sum button then also you will get the same answer hai na yahan se bhi auto sum button use kar sakte hai ya fir from the home button also uh, editing group mein auto sum button hai same thing both are same so this way you can uh, calcul automatically calculate the sum of a series of numbers i think it is clear now our next topic is relative absolute and mixed referencing what is relative referencing relative referencing means calling cell by just their column and row label such as a1 is called a relative referencing Normally, we use relative referencing. Use karte. That means, we use a cell to refer to its column label and row number. We use relative referencing. For example, suppose here in this sheet, you are having some number. Hai na? A2 may be here. All the cells numbers are there. We want to display the multiplication result of D2 and A2. So, here is the formula type. Kiya equal to d2 into a2 so this d2 and a2 it is known as relative referencing okay and if you are copying this formula to down this relative reference formula if you are copying to down 
then what will be the formula you are getting here? Here which formula you will get? You will get equal to D3 into A3. That means if in a formula if you are using relative referencing, then when it is copied from one cell to another, exact copy of the formula is not created. What it will do? It will change the cell reference relative to the row and column to which they are moved to. So, they, how is, uh, it can be explained with the help of an example. With the help of MS Excel sheet, I will explain it. Now, see so students, here some numbers are there in two columns. You know? Now, we want to calculate the sum of these numbers. Like a G1 plus H1 calculate. So, here what we will type the formula. What will be the formula? Equal to this cell address G1 then plus this cell address H1 and enter key press kiya. So, ye G1 yaha pe enter key press karna press value milta hai na formula bar mein fir wo uska formula display hoga G1 plus H1 hai. So, this is called a relative referencing or relative referencing ka specialty kya hai? If you are copying this formula to another cell Kaise copy karenge? Ham lo fill handle use karke. Isko copy kar rahe. Fill handle se drag kiya. See, you are getting that uh, full, full last tak drag karte hain. Thik hai? It dragged it. Then, no need to type the formula again. You will get the formula here. But, yahaan pe formula kya tha? G1 plus H1 tha. See, G1 plus H1 tha. Usko jab drag kiya, yahaan pe kya ho gaya? Equal to G2 plus H2 ho gaya. That is the advantage of relative cell referencing. So, relative cell referencing means usko copy karenge, lekin iski according, next cell mein jab aayenge, according to this, iska cell address change ho jayega. Yahaan pe G1 plus H1 tha, to yahaan pe aake G2 plus H2 ho gaya. Same way, when it come here, see, G3 plus H3 ho gaya. And when it is copying uh, the, to the next cell, wo, uh, G4 plus H4. Here it is, G5 plus H5. See, formula bar mein, you can see the formula. Here it is G6 plus H6. So, this is called a relative referencing. So, relative referencing means Excel usko refer kar rahe, column label or row number use karke. But relative referencing agar formula me use karenge, if you are copying it to the next cell, then according to that cell's address it will change. I think it is clear relative cell referencing. Now, next one is absolute cell referencing. What is absolute cell referencing? Suppose if you, when you will copy if, uh, one cell to another cell, you don't want to change what the value. Value change nahi karna hai. Koi ek value fixed rakna hai. So, in that case, you can use the absolute cell referencing. So, absolute cell referencing, let me explain. Suppose here ek number hai. 45 ek number hai. Yeah, simple number lete hai. Suppose 5, digit 5 hai. And uh, here you are um, copying this number to this uh, here. Suppose... Uh, we are adding the number G1 plus H1. H1 ke jaga pe H1 nahi. Yeah, H1 use karte. H1 ke saath hame add karna hai. This E1 ko add karna hai. E1 de diya. Enter ki press kiya. Thik hai? Ab is formula ko usko copy kar rahe hai. Ham log niche tak. Then what will happen? Here kya formula aya? H2 a gaya. Lekin uske saath E2 add kiya. E2 me to value hai nahi. हमें हर सेल में जो है H H का जो कॉलम का वैल्यू के साथ E में जो E1 के जो कॉलम का वैल्यू है वो फिक्स्ड वैल्यू बाकी सब के साथ ऐड करना है सो हाउ इज इट पॉसिबल इफ यू आर सिंपली ड्रैगिंग देन व्हाट विल हैपन फ्रॉम टू सेल रेफरेंसिंग ये आएगा दैट मींस उसके जस्ट नीचे का सेल रेफरेंस देंगे फिर उसके जस्ट नीचे का दैट वी डोंट नीड वी वांट टू कीप दिस वैल्यू फिक्स्ड सो हाउ कैन वी डू दैट सो फॉर दैट पर्पस we will do one thing. Instead of typing E1, E1 type karne ke jaga pe, E ke just pahle, we will use a dollar sign. Same way, 1 ke just before, we will use another dollar sign. See, what does it mean? It means that if you are copying this cell address to another, then this, uh, if dollar sign is there, it will not change that cell address. As it is, it will copy. Just to see, usko hum log copy kiya yahan pe. Ab deko, 34 ki jaga pa 39 ho gaya. Why it is 39? Because when it is copied here, uh, how it is showing H2 plus instead of E2, see E1, 
it uh, fixed as it is because dollar sign is there so e1 ka address change hua hi nahi as it is hua gaya e1 hi rah gaya hai na same way if you are copying up to down then what will happen same thing here also h ke jagah pe h3 aa gaya lekin e1 fixed rakha here also see formula bar mein h4 ho gaya lekin e1 permanently fixed hai here also h5 hai but here e1 permanently fixed hai same way here H6 but E1 permanently fixed. So this type of cell referencing is called an absolute cell referencing. Suppose if you don't want to change any value or yeah, any cell address relative to next cell, cell value, then in that case, that cell address you have to fix it absolute. Clear? So how to make it absolute? Absolute banane ke liye kya karna hoga? O cell referencing ka row, number, और कॉलम लेवल के जस्ट बिफोर यू हैव टू यूज डॉलर साइन डॉलर साइन है तो वो फिक्स्ड रहेगा आई थिंक इट इज क्लियर एंड देन नेक्स्ट इज मिक्स्ड सेल रेफरेंसिंग मिक्स्ड मींस इट्स अ कॉम्बिनेशन ऑफ रिलेटिव एंड एब्सोल्यूट दोनों का कॉम्बिनेशन को बोलते हैं मिक्स्ड सेल रेफरेंसिंग नाउ वी विल सी इन द पीपीटी व्हाट एक्सप्लेनेशन इट इज गिवन इन दैट पीपीटी लेट अस सी दैट सी रिलेटिव इट इज क्लियर नेक्स्ट वन absolute absolute referencing to prevent the cell addresses to change a dollar sign is placed before the column and row location in the formula the references become absolute and they will not change when copied here the one more example it is given so here equal to d2 into a2 and this time before a2 we are using dollar that means when it copies here the formula what will be the formula formula become equal to d3 into a2 only and we, when it copies here there also d3 d4 but into a2 only so that is called that the formula will remain now the cell a2 remain constant in all the formula next is mixed cell referencing so it is clear na mixed cell referencing means it's a combination of relative and absolute referencing सो so, दोनों को एक फॉर्मूला में कंबाइन करके फिर गिविंग इन द फॉर्मूला देन दैट इज कॉल्ड अ मिक्स्ड सेल रेफरेंसिंग सो हियर एंड द रो ऑफ d2 इज फिक्स्ड एंड द कॉलम ऑफ a2 इज फिक्स्ड a2 कॉलम पूरा फिक्स्ड है लेकिन इसमें सेकंड रो फिक्स्ड है सो ए कॉम्बिनेशन दिया रिलेटिव भी दिया हियर d इज दिस चेंजिंग कॉलम बट रो इट विल ऑलवेज रिमेन 